This is the last chance for Radovan Karadzic to convince the judges he is innocent and for the prosecution to prove otherwise. Forces loyal to Radovan Karadzic carried out a campaign known as ethnic cleansing. Hundreds of thousands of non-Serbs were driven from their homes. Thousands of Muslim men and boys were slaughtered in Srebrenica. His men laid siege to the capital Sarajevo for three years. After the war, Radovan Karadzic went into hiding. He was eventually arrested in 2008, disguised as a New Age healer. Both the prosecution and the defence have 10 hours each to present what will be their final arguments. It's almost like a highlight of the last five years. The prosecution have already submitted an outline of their case to the courts, and we have a copy of it here. It's more than 700 pages long and lists hundreds of witnesses and pieces of evidence. They say that Radovan Karadzic was the preeminent political and military leader of the Bosnian Serbs, and therefore he was to blame for these crimes. He's not allowed to give interviews, so I asked his lawyer what we can expect to hear in court. You can expect him to be saying that the prosecution's theory of the case is all wet, that he never intended that Muslims would be expelled from Bosnia and Serb areas, that he never planned any killings or genocide. This is one of the most complex trials in the history of international justice. It's likely to be a year before judges here deliver their verdict. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in The Hague.